He has not accepted our offering. If we do not make an acceptable offering to him, he will indeed charge yeah. at us. You have entered, and perfect timing, because now we can show your loot. Also, you guys will be proud of me. I remembered my EpiPen today. Our card finding mission begins today. Whole day early from when it was supposed to come in, came in my Jesus laptop. Our card finding mission begins today! I, I expected more. Sorry, I was trying to figure out what this person was doing. Okay, well, this, this was not the off time. With okay. this I know, you uh, you do film at the at awkward times. I apologize. She's driving with her door open! No, she just closed it. She's driving with her door You're open! You're like the guy... You're like the guy that waits to start filming the porno after they finish. Alex, what? do people uh, not understand yet my love for Evil Dead? Not yet. So, uh, I have a poster of Evil Dead now. Any comments, concerns, questions? No. No, not a single damn comment. Good. You ain't worth it. Oh! Oh! You bought something. I did. You bought something at the comic shop. I did. And it was worth it. It was worth it. And it was Geralt. And I was, was about to say, it. do you want do you want to wait to reveal it? I'll Let's wait. wait. Okay, okay. It, it involves the Witcher. That's how we got him sucked. We got him hooked in. Mm -hmm. Also, you guys would be proud of me. I remembered my EpiPen today. Maybe and now, turn. yep, you turn. Now we're going to Jerry's. Your favorite place on earth. We're going to Jerry's. A any comments? Not really. Okay, I just I almost ran into a wall. I have loot. All right, guys, we're home. I just laid out all the loot on the table, and we're gonna go over it super quick, and I'm really happy with everything I picked up. I had a lot of fun today, so let's dive in. All right, so the first thing we picked up were these cards right here at Tower Games. We've talked about them before, but Tower Games is an awesome local game and card shop in the Virginia Beach area. If you're in the air, give them a shot. They are awesome. And these were, I believe, $20 in total. I absolutely love the look of these cards, and I love the feel of them, too. They really fit with my Zombie Necro deck. So that's why I picked them up. And then uh, we did pick up one more thing at Tower Games. I'm going to save that for last. I alluded to it before, but we're going to hold off on that. Now we're going to go over to what I picked up at the comic shop, which was just my normal pool list. Honestly, I don't feel like there's anything in here I really have to go over. It was a small day. I only spent like $30 on comics today, so nothing in here that I thought was absolutely amazing just wanted to point out that i did pick it up and my list of comics that i need to read has grown out of hand again so i will be spending one whole day just reading comics to get that down taking a break from editing but we'll see about that after that we went to jerry's and i actually picked up quite a bit at jerry's in fact this is all the loot from jerry's and i mostly went there for brushes but of course it's me i picked up some extra stuff number one the extra stuff was actually this some little bristol board artist training cards in fact these are a little bigger than normal magic cards so if we grab one, I can show you. There you go. But I think it would be really fun if me and Alex make our own custom magic cards. I think that'd be really fun to do. And then we play a game with those cards in our deck. I think that'd be really fun to do. So get a couple sheets there and it's Bristol board. You know, I love me some Bristol board. Uh, going off of the Bristol board, you use it with ink. So here's a Windsor & Newton calligraphy ink. Now, I normally use the Windsor & Newton drawing ink. I actually have some to the side right there. Boom, there you go. So yeah, this is what I normally draw with. But I saw they had calligraphy ink. So I thought, why not pick it up, give it a try. It was pretty cheap put that to the side over here we have some paper this is hot press this was actually pretty expensive paper and yeah i thought i'd give it a try for some more complex ink washes which i've been doing a lot with my artwork recently so it was surprisingly expensive but if i like it i'm gonna look at some other alternatives for a hot press i prefer hot press because i like a smooth paper cold press has a texture to it which i've never really been a huge fan of actually i take that back it can be fun if i do painting but we'll see with ink washes but the main reason i went were these brushes because boom I love these brushes. Now, this is actually the brush that I've been using for about two weeks now. This is by the, if I can zoom in, Creative Mark Artist Company. Come on, camera, zoom in. There you go. And I love it. It's really good. This is a round three. This is what I've been using. You can see it got the little ink stains on it. And I just want to pick up more. I picked up a flat six, a round six, a round three, and a round zero three. Because I want to just get a more variety of brushes. Because I also want to replace this in case I start uh, using it too much. Because this is 
is a really, really good brush that I've been using way too much. It's super nice. And then I saw this one that I think would be really cool for a cool splatter effect. You can kind of go something like this and create a fur texture. And I don't know what company makes this. You can kind of zoom in right there. There you go. Nope, nope. There you go. That's the company. So I just thought it was cheap. Give it a try. Those are the new brushes we are adding to the collection. Minus this one because this is one I've been using. So I'm actually going to put this back right here in my little, little brush hole. Now, you think this is everything, but you are wrong because boom, there's two more items. I don't know how you missed that. But yeah, we have a little Coke can. I love Coca-Cola. My mini fridge right here actually is Coca-Cola. So yeah, picked up that. And then I also picked up at GameStop, that's where these two items came from, a Coria set, which I love at Coria because they have the mutants, which I think is a really cool gimmick. So I'm definitely going to be opening this up and hoping I get some mutants. And the last thing we picked up was at Tower Games, which I alluded to before, but I'm going to show you now in full boom. It's an Army of Darkness movie poster. I love Army of Darkness. Sam Rainey and John Carpenter are two of my absolute favorite directors. I love their work. And this is one of my favorite movies of all time. I actually got my dad to watch this movie and he loved it. And he fell asleep during most of it, but he still enjoyed it. And I love the tagline, trapped in time, surrounded by evil, low on gas. And they, they don't make movie posters like this. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a piece of art and I'm gonna find a home for it, probably in my closet, but I will find a home for this movie poster because I love it. Alex, you have entered and perfect timing because now we could show your loot. Geralt of Rivia by McFarland Toys. Oh yeah. The Just detail. Absolutely awesome. McFarland always does a good job on their stuff. Not gonna lie. There are so many different Witcher things that I might have to go back there and get. <laughs> There's like so many. Wait, wait. I think I'd only get one other one though. Okay. I think, I think I'd only get Aridin, King of the Hunt. Okay, I was about to say, I could feel my sister at work being like, what did my husband do? I could feel it and he's backing out. I'm the breadwinner. <laughs> that's true, that's true. I mean... That's true, but she, she's still gonna, I know my sister, I'm just saying. Anyway, so yeah, I absolutely love this and I will find a home for it somewhere in there. All right, guys, I'm gonna make this a super quick update because I am beyond tired. Uh, I actually am gonna be jumping my Minecraft modded server with my friends to play for a little bit, hung out with my mom, had crazy day at work today and yesterday. So yeah, but I'm gonna go with some loot that I picked up today outside of some flowers, balloons, a card, and the gift that I got my mom and my grandmother. So I ain't gonna show that because you know, that's their loot, but we're here for my loot. So let's go. First off, I got Jet Jaguar, which I actually really like this dude. I mean, he's got a fun design. It reminds me of Ultraman. It was a crazy Godzilla movie and he's making a comeback in the new Netflix series. So I thought, why not? Picked up this new Kenner <laughs> Iron Man action figure. There was quite a few, only picked up the Iron Man one, but they did have a few ones I was thinking about. If they had a Thor, I would've picked that one up too but I'm just gonna pick this up. They ain't even have Hulk, which kind of sucks. I would pick that one up too. Got this new armored Batmobile from Batman 89. One of my favorite movies of all time. So boom, there you go. Stephen King's The Stand. Yeah, I actually picked this up. It was like five bucks, why not? And the one that you're really gonna be surprised, this red Transformers. This is Optimus Prime. And as you can see, it's a non-transforming action figure, which is kind of interesting. I think this would be a really cool drawing reference. So that's why I picked it up. That's all the loot for today. I'm extremely tired. Tomorrow, I'm actually gonna be uh, uh, filming all day today. I'm going to do a 10 hour shoot. I'm going to then do a 10 hour editing shoot on Wednesday. So I just need to edit this video and the review and then I will actually be filming Hopefully, if everything goes right, if you can look over here, I'm going to be filming a Windsor Newton ink video, a lit paint video, and this Oakwood ink video. So that's what my plan is. We shall see. But either way, uh, that's all the loot for today. I also picked up some juice. So I picked up that little thing of juice. But that's everything for today. And I am so tired. So I just got to do a few things and then I'm going to bed. What are we doing today? I have no idea. Me either. It's three o'clock. It's my day off. I've played some Minecraft. I was not productive. But you know what I am ready to do? Spend time with my awesome brother-in-law. Same here. I, I don't feel the enthusiasm in that, but that's cool. I'm so tired. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. You woke me up, but you gave me coffee, so I'm allowing this. You know it. Yes. All right. Onward. Here we see the natural Alec in his habitat, looking through the fantasy book. Will he find what he is looking for? Most likely not. There is only one way to find out. That's how I'm looking for. He has not accepted our offering. If we do not make an acceptable offering to him, he will indeed yeah. charge at us. I saw him finish this. <laughs> <laughs> My dude, this bag is hanging on by a thread. <laughs> These books are too epic. They're too awesome. Yeah, they're too awesome. They're gonna break. All right, we also went to FYE again. So, you know what that means? More Omni of Darkness figures. More Omni of Darkness. 
Hey, hey, Alex, Alex. We're going to Michael's. Really? I have no idea. You gotta do the jingle. So I haven't been in a Michael's in three months. Uh, this is gonna be. Oh, like, they're under lock and like key. Oh, that's actually not. Heroin, that's not a bad price. You think me only going to like three or four shops will revolve in me not having that much loot? But I had a package come in, so yeah, there is a lot. Let's go through it all. All right, guys, doing a real quick deep dive. I'm going to start with Bonds and Nobles, then we're going to go into the FYE loot, and then we'll end it up with what's in the box, which is a mixture of a bunch of stuff I ordered, slash what I picked up at Michael's, which was only three things. But if you know me, you know exactly what they are. So the first thing I found at Barnes and Nobles, and even I didn't find it, was actually Alex, and I saw it, had to have it, perfectly priced. This is DC Comics cover art, 350 of the greatest covers in DC history. Comic book covers are really important. That's what makes your stuff stand out on the stand. And on top of that, the art of comic book covers is just super cool to me. It's really fascinating. As someone who wants to be in the comic book industry, who loves comic books with all his heart, I had to pick this up, especially as a DC fan. Obviously, Batman is my favorite superhero, but I love DC. I love a lot of what they do. Their characters are awesome. No disrespect to Marvel. And, you know, it's hard for me to say I like DC more, but I grew up with DC more. And even though my favorite artist, Jack Kirby, did make his legacy at Marvel, he did all his amazing characters. The work he did at DC was still amazing. Really, you shouldn't underhand what he did at DC. It's truly amazing stuff. But still, it's it's really those things where it's like Marvel had Jack Kirby. He's my favorite artist, and I love a lot of the Marvel superheroes. But, you know, DC has Batman. They have Superman, I didn't mean to hit my camera. They have Green Lantern, they have Aquaman, they have so many cool characters. I love the ideology they have where the characters you look up to, but I digress. The point is, I saw this, I had to have it. This was really well priced too. I thought this would be really expensive. It was only 35 US and it is 45 Canada, so any Canadian fans can pick that up for that. And then it doesn't just have pictures, it has commentary. It talks about a little bit of them and also tells you the year they came out. So pretty cool stuff, you can flip through it. And of course the cover has some very iconic artwork. It's got Detective Comics 27, When Flash Superman First Waste, it's got the liner one and then it also has of course action comics number one so a lot of iconic stuff here very cool and i love how it's a mix of old and modern how it really does go through all of dc's history it's not just modern it's not just old it really does appreciate the entirety of dc's well almost like a hundred years of being around so just absolutely amazing and some beautiful beautiful covers in here and as someone who is a huge fan of comics who's someone who wants to work in comics you know i think this is a very valuable resource to have it was pretty cool because i actually showed this to my mom she said oh my gosh it's such a cool representation the industry you want to work in or is this a very cool thing of your passion so that's that's something my mom said and i thought that was really cool so that's what i picked up here the second book i picked up was actually going to surprise you is a traditional drawing book this is artist drawing techniques develop your style guide by professional artists what we do here is a lot of comic book art that's where my interest in that's what i'm self-taught in and that's kind of where my training comes in i was taught more cartooning than an actual real life drawing but the problem is and a lot of people who work in the industry will tell you you need to learn how to draw real people you need to be a real artist so that when you do come comics you can adapt your style to that because you know comics they are exaggeration it is an art style you don't have people that muscular in real life but it's that foundation so if you're stuck in the comic book style you'll kind of be stuck in there for a while so what i wanted to do was pick up a really good book that talked about traditional drawing techniques and more figure in life drawing i do have a few books here on the shelf that's actually what this shelf is for uh these are art guides like different stuff like art of ramon uh art of alex ross alex toth uh jim lee a bunch of different artists here like cho um cho young who's another great artist this one is actual art book so this is like the uh animator survival guide how to draw comics the marvel way how to draw comics the dc way uh how to make your own comics so it's a bunch of stuff like that and that's oh and this top shelf by the way it's all jack kirby because you know favorite artist there's actually only three art books in here two of which were actually gifts for my mom the other one i had to get for school and that's all the stuff i have so i thought you know what i want to get a real book that really deep dives into actual drawing for ours more life drawing and i decided this one this sold for 30 dollars us 39 canada but what i love about this it's not just penciling it actually goes in you have pastels ink painting just a bunch of different mediums that really blew my mind and i thought you know what for how much knowledge is in here i looked through i was really enjoying the read too i thought you know what i'm gonna pick this up i think it's well with the money and he also has two other ones he has painting and pottery i might pick up the painting one because again that's something i do want to get into i'm a huge fan of alex ross so i'd like to learn how to paint but that's everything i picked up at barnes and noble so let's go into the loot from fye the first bit is actually this this is a batman pop socket which may seem kind of dumb like oh why are you super excited about that i've been wanting a pop socket of batman for a while i used to have one on my phone but it broke so then i got an iron man one that one broke so now i have a galaxy spiral on my phone but I just want a Batman one. I've been wanting one for a while. Now, of course, this symbol is more in line with the Neil Adam look, which I really do like. And of course, that was taken and modified into the Batman poster for Batman 89, which is then adapted into Batman the Animated Series, which is my favorite version of Batman. So there you go. Absolutely love how this looks. And it was actually $15, which <laughs> I thought was expensive, but it was the last one they had. I've been wanting one for a while. Batman is my favorite superhero. So I said, you know what? I'm going to bite the bullet and pick it up. 
The second thing I picked up from FYE was this. This is, I don't actually pick these up very often. I get them once in a while. And of course this is a little pin. I think these things are really cool, but this is Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, which uh, Nightmare Before Christmas is one of Sarah's favorite movies. So I picked this up for Sarah. She actually dresses up as Sally a lot for Halloween. That's one of her favorite characters to cosplay as. So really happy to pick that up for her. Also really happy about this. The last thing I picked up at FYE is this Super 7 figure. This is of course Bad Ash from Aubrey and Darkness. One of my favorite movies of all time from one of my favorite directors of all time. And this is the last figure I'm going to pick up from this line because a lot of Super 7 figures I just don't feel the need to pick them up I don't have like a desire to pick them up but with Army of Darkness I make an exception because there's no other good figures of them there's no figures on them period because they're owned by different studios so NECA doesn't have the rights I would love to see NECA actually get the rights yes Alex are you videoing maybe well then I guess I won't bless you with my cameo in your lame videos the presence of Alex is just too valuable Go sit in the corner. Like a peasant. Yes, like a peasant. We've been quoting Doctor Doom all day. Now, like I was saying, I would love if NECA got the rights to do some really awesome Army of Darkness figures. So this is going to be the closest we get to it. And this is the last one I'm going to pick up. Because I honestly don't need to get the Pitch Witch or the Deadite Scout. I really just wanted the Ash figures. Because Ash is one of my favorite fictional characters in horror movies. So I thought, why not? I'm going to pick this up. And that is everything from FYE and Bars and Noble. So let's get into the giant box. I mean, it's pretty small in comparison, but it's filled with a lot. So let's get into that right now. All right, starting it off, I did pick up the Dr. P.H. Martins. This is their radiant concentrated watercolor <laughs> sorry that's such a weird name radiant concentrated wa why not concentrated radiant watercolor i feel like that would roll off the tongue better but whatever so it's their really really concentrated watercolor i'm gonna interrupt this video for one more opportunity josh i did forget to stop at walmart on the way back i will need you so we can grab some more loot 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 glorious loot loot Glorious loot. Okay, we're not a singing channel. You need, you need to stop that. Only no, I do the jingles. That's the only, death. That's the only death I chant. Do the of, jingles. That is the death chant of Battle Brawler Productions. I'm your producer. You leave that in. I made you. I don't know what just happened, but we're going to put that aside and bring out the other Dr. P.H. Martin ink that I picked up. This is the private collection. This is liquid acrylic. Love acrylic ink, and I actually do like Dr. P.H. Martin's work, so really excited to test this out. I have pre-ordered their Hyde watercolor, so I can't wait to pick that up, and I just need to find the tech drawing one in black. Uh, speaking of Dr. P.H. Martin's, the last Dr. P.H. Martin thing in here is, of course, the India White. Now, when I reviewed this, I actually got a bottle from a friend. I don't think I made that clear in the review. Ran out, so I thought, you know what, with a video I had planned in the future i need an extra bottle it was super cheap so i picked this one up at michael's the rest i ordered of course off of amazon now the rest of the inks in here are of course my favorite ink provide of all time windsor newton so we're going to go through them each one at a time starting with what i picked up at michael's which was the gold and silver i actually switched them this is gold this is silver why because i actually have an idea for a drawing and i think it'd be really cool to actually mess with metallic inks something we have not done yet putting those to the side we still have nine inks to go through that's right nine i kind of went on a bit of a buying binge this first one is verdin which i thought would be really cool beautiful shade of green i love the patching on these two and then these actually retail for nine dollars at michael's but online they had sales for four to five dollars which i thought was really cool other colors i picked up was i picked up blue and cobalt blue and this box is a little beat up which kind of sucks but you can get a little idea two different shades of blue i have all the shades of red so i thought you know what i'm gonna get some blue shades because i have some cool idea for artwork with that i also have emerald which i thought would be really fun to do again more ideas for artwork this one is violet which i kind of didn't want to pick up but i decided you know what i'm going to it's really cheap and then along that line i also picked up their purple which yep just kind of a purple plant i don't think that's an egg plant i don't think that's a grape uh i ain't a farmer i don't know what that is i picked up these two greens too this is brilliant green and this is apple green so i actually have i kid you not four green inks now so i'm really curious what the differences between those are but at the same time i'm really excited to test them out because i love testing out windsor newton inks they're just my absolute favorite brand of ink and i can't wait to make art with them they're super fun and enjoyable and again i will pick them up too at like that five dollar price range and of course this box is empty now and the last ink that we're going to show is one that i was the most excited for to pick up because i've been looking for a good ink of this color this is canary yellow as far as i could tell this is the only yellow ink they make so i'm very excited to test this one out in fact we're gonna open this one and take a little sneak peek at it so let's see Ooh, kind of looks like not gonna lie 
kind of looks like apple juice. But you know what? I'm really excited to test it out. I can't wait to make some cool art with it. I have a few different sketches with these ideas in mind. Of course, with the green ones, we're going to be doing different characters that have a green theme. I think it'd be really fun. With purple, same thing. Of course, one of our characters has purple as the motif, which we will, of course, use these with. Same thing with blue. And then, of course, this yellow. I got something really fun playing. I've been looking for a good, strong yellow ink, so I can't wait to try those out. And then these metallic ones, I have an idea for a few robot and mechanical golems sketches that I think would be really cool to use these with, so that's why I have them. We'll just take a quick look at these two, because this segment is already getting really long and I don't feel like getting interrupted again. You do have to shake the metallic ones because they do tend to kind of fall to the bottom, but absolutely beautiful. I love that shade of gold. I do also want to pick up, uh, I think it's Stuart Semple's gold paint. I think that'd be fun, and his liquid mirror I think would be really fun too, but I'm glad that you guys saw and sat through this entire long thing of everything I bought, and I will hopefully be doing more. We we'll may get some more loot as we go to Walmart, so let's see about that, but uh, yeah, that is everything for today, excluding our trip to Walmart, so let's see what we pick up there. So uh, after going to Walmart, after being rudely interrupted by someone while filming a video for you guys, any comments? Uh, no, actually. Okay, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing. That was really funny. But no, I picked up this red Transformers figure, Megatron. Actually, really like the Optimus one. I thought, you know, why not? Plus, he has a Energon hand, so you can get him drunk. <laughs> right, Alex? Absolutely. Yes. Now, to the Batcave. I don't know if you guys ever have had a day where you're just tired, but you didn't do anything. That's the day. I'm tired. I was up the... Yes, Alex? I'm not going to lie. When I heard that, my heart did skip a beat. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go check this out. Whatcha? Whatcha? What's up, man? Guess what? What? I ordered my new laptop today. I can't. Of all the things I thought you'd come out here excited about, you said that. Not over the dog. They don't need to know that yet. Also, we're buying a dog. Not we. You're buying your you're, own dog. I'm buying a dog, you're, but you are also buying a dog. But I'm that also dog, buying a dog. You are spoiling. Spoilers. Come on, man. Spoilers. Spoilers. But no, so we had. We also looked at puppies today. Do you know why my dachshund's name is Woody? Why? Because he's a stud like me and lays the wood. Peace uh, out! <laughs> yeah, mine is named Coco. She's like a little chocolate bar. It's awesome. So. Uh, going to close that interruption, and you can see this is the craziness I deal with. And if you couldn't hear that music, it was the Halloween theme. But I've had a day where I am just tired from last night. I looked at dogs today, so that is actually something I was going to kind of not mention, but kind of forced me to. Uh, of course, Kissy passed away several months ago, and uh, my family was actually approached with a very interesting opportunity where my parents worked with dog breeders, and they had dachshunds where they breed them, and they only had one batch left that they were going to do before they no longer breed them and so they had an offer for us so we took a look today and looked at them and I really fell in love with the dog and uh, I decided to name her Coco because she's ch colored like a little chocolate bar. Actually fell in love and I want to say that I'm not doing this to replace Kissy and it was really honestly a big decision because I thought I wasn't ready for another dog and it really was hard for me to go even go there and look at them because I'm still I'm still mourning Kissy and I, I don't want this to be like this is Kissy 2.0 this is me replacing her. No, this is, my family is a dog family. We've had a dog in the house for well over 14 years and it's it's hard being here without one. So uh, we both decided, me and Krista and Alex, you know, we all looked at it and said, Krista and Alex wanted this uh, this puppy. And I, I saw this puppy, I fell in love with her and I was like, this is uh, it's my dog. So hopefully June 3rd, June 4th, we'll um, be having them come over and they'll be staying with us. They still need to be, they were just born. They, so they still need to be fed. They need to go to the vet. Um, but I was very lucky to actually have this opportunity, especially because this was the last Last time that this couple was actually going to be breeding dachshunds so it was just kind of like one of those things where god really lined everything up for us so I was, I was very happy but besides for seeing the puppies today i did actually film one video this is art graph needed graphite super fun video really like how that came out so hopefully that will actually be up by the time this comes out because it was such a fun video and i really recommend watching it uh also today like i told i did order my new laptop so it is a lot and i do mean a lot nicer than the one i currently have this thing it's it's a really nice laptop it's lasted me several good years i absolutely love this thing 
hate it sometimes, but you know what? It has lasted me so long. I need to upgrade though. This new one, such more. The specs are so nice. It's got two terabytes of space, which is awesome. That's actually what the external hard drive I use to store everything has. It also has way more RAM, 32 gigs of RAM. Very excited. It is an Asus, which I have heard nothing but good things about. Several of my classmates and some of my professors not only have them, but recommended them to me. So I said, you know what? Uh, I really liked Acer. I really liked HP, but I'm really going to be excited to test out Asus. I think it's going to be awesome. So very excited. But now that we got that spill out of the way, let's talk about the loot. And I have one, two, three, four, five different items that I picked up, ordered, and I'm really excited to talk about. But now let's talk about the loot, and I have five items that I'm really excited to show you. They all came in today, so let's start with this. This is the Ziggs Cartoonist Super Black Ink 60. Now, I love Ziggs Cartoonist, and I'm hoping that the video will be up by this because I actually reviewed their normal ink about half a year ago, and it's still to this day is one of my favorite inks. If I ever see it on sale, I will pick it up, even though I know I have three bottles, two of which are unopened, and one that's not even halfway done. I love this ink that much. So if I see it on sale, I just pick it up because I absolutely love it. And I'm really excited to test out their Super Black. I'm really curious to see what the difference is. I like this box. It's really nice. And the ink wells are just super nice. You know, two fluid ounces. It's a really good price. Even, even if you compare it to American ink wells, this one just really nice design, really good value for your money. And even like Samu ink, like I've never used it before until I actually used their original brand. Oh my, was this just super fun to use. I'm very excited to give this one a test. I have a very specific illustration in mind for this, so I'm really curious to see how it's going to hold up compared to the original one. And kind of going with that, I also picked up this. This is the Tekka Coho. I could be saying that wrong. This is the Pen Nib Holder. Now, this is a very special one because not only, I'm going to kind of show you the name of it so you can actually see it. What's really special about this is that not only can it take both dip pens and quill nibs, but it can actually hold them with a cap. So it actually has a specific cap to help keep everything safe and secure. I just kind of thought, why not give it a shot? I'm always curious about these things. So I thought very unique, worth picking up and doing a review of. Uh, speaking with pens that I thought were very interesting to do a review of, this is a Copic drawing pen. Now you're thinking it's a fine letter. No, it's a drawing pen. It actually has the head of a little fountain pen. If I can show you, there you go. Very interesting. I thought this was really cool. and. I'm gonna give it a try, you know? Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Honestly, probably a lot. I do like Copic fine liners. I think they are really nice and really fun to use, but they're not the uh, end all be all, and I'll say that. So really curious to see how this is gonna work. Those brush pens they make are amazing. So hopefully it's the same quality. I also picked up, because it's actually funny, I talked about Artgraft uh, and I really did like this product. So I'm hoping I like this too. This is the Artgraft Liquid Graphite. So this actually is a watercolor graphite. So I'm really curious to give this a try. Uh, yes, I did actually see the Jazza video, which inspired me to pick it up. But honestly, after testing out this product, I'm really excited to see what that one's like. So we're gonna do that. And the last thing, it's actually pretty heavy, believe it or not, is these are Japanese ink sticks. So I picked these up. They're really interesting. And again, I actually saw this from ADZ Art Attack, which was really an interesting show. I, they did a crossover with Jazza, which is what informed me of this stuff. And yeah, I'm just really curious to give it a shot. I think it'd be really fun. Very different from what we normally test on the channel. We do a lot of ink wells, but this is something that I thought would be really fun. And again, it just has like a good heavy weight to it so thought why not just give it a shot so that is the loot that came in today and of course we ordered the laptop I actually ordered a new mouse too because this one is kind of beating up it actually is double clicking now and i don't know why so really excited to just really get a huge upgrade on a lot of the stuff we're using and just kind of make just better content so that's really something i want to do and it's something that i'm really happy is finally happening and i don't know if you could hear it, but alex is in the shower singing because my bathroom is connected to my room that's right. Again, it's just one of those days where I'm tired. I'm probably just gonna do a little bit of gaming chill with my friends, but just wanted to share some of the stuff and the loot. We got some loot for today. I am really happy with these really cool Batmobiles that Hot Wheels been coming out with, and I've never seen a Hot Wheel of the Super Friends Batmobile. Not my favorite, but I still like it, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get it. Picked up a few. I honestly will definitely pick up the Batwing at some point. Maybe, maybe the Adam West Batmobile with the Penguin upgrade, but really happy with this. And then I also have two NECA figures. I have it from the original TV miniseries, and of course, Jason from Friday the 13th Part 2. This is the first movie where he was the killer, and I thought this would be really awesome. I would still love them to make a figure of Pamela with the zombie Jason. I think that'd be awesome. And I would also like to see a figure of Jason X, but you know what? I will take what I can get. I just really want that lawsuit to end. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, 
about, just look up the Friday 13th lawsuit. It's kind of wild. But I'm going to put these figures up here with our rest of our horror slash awesome figures. Because the way this room is set up, pretty much all the horror stuff is here. With the exclusion of a few selected characters. And I will be putting Pennywise on the bat thing. And I'll put Jason right here. And then over here, you can see that I do have some more horror figures. And mostly monsters, really. But you know what? I just love how it looks. And it's super cool. What's up, guys? I am very excited because a whole day early from what was supposed to come in came in my Jesus laptop. I am very excited. So here is the box and then currently right now I'm working on installing, transferring all the programs. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of the Adobe suites, a lot of Maya stuff, a lot about my camera. So general stuff. Luckily most of what I actually use day to day was on a hard drive. Luckily I'll be able to actually run it straight to here because this has a whole two terabytes which is actually double my hard drive and I probably don't even have 25% of that hard drive filled. So I'm very excited. This case super nice and on top of that, believe it or not, this thing came with a free mouse. This is the i carp so i don't know if it's the same brand or they just gave me the map i don't know how this is connected to them because i think it would be jesus but whatever i did actually order a mouse that i like a lot more it's a little sleeker it's a little smoother than this one but either way now i have three mouses because i have this one that i've had for years but i'm just guys i'm very excited so i cannot wait to get this all running i can't wait to try gaming i can't wait to do our programs maya's gonna run so amazing and this laptop will still be used this is an hp forget the specific specs on it but this this stuff will actually still be used as a render farm. So very excited, had to make this and it's gonna be a probably a two, three day adjustment period of transferring everything and getting used to a new system. Like for example, this doesn't have a dedicated number pad. My other one did, so just some getting used to, but I'm just super excited. Also love this display, I updated it. I saw it in the last vlog, I know, but love how that looks. And uh, yeah, that's everything for today. You know, this isn't the first time this plaza has been on fire and I feel like it's not the last. But this is the second time we've caught it on camera, so... Uh, oh, there's there's more. There's more coming, so it's probably... I might have to evacuate my store. I'm gonna go take care of that. Yeah, there's uh, there's six of these guys, plus two of the, like, fire, like, vans, and also an ambulance, and they are climbing on the roof. Probably my dude, uh, JC's up there, saving lives. So, yeah, this is crazy. Second time. Second time this year. Crazy. So, that was uh, work today, and you know it's a rough plaza when the laundromat catching on fire doesn't phase me anymore. And the fact that I can say the laundromat has been on fire multiple times tells you it's a kind of crazy place. But I love what I do, but oh man, this is the what I deal with on a daily basis. Now, I do have one piece of loot that I'm very excited to show you, and you're probably going to see in the faraway shot, because I'm actually going to show off my room. I cleaned it, vacuumed the floor, organized everything. Now, personally, I like to keep my room about 15 minutes away from being clean at all times. So it's just kind of my rule of thumb, and that's what I did today. So I had to clean everything up, make it look good. Got two things to do left which is dust this table, which is not going to be fun because I have to remove each figure, dust the table, dust the figures, put them back. So that's going to be difficult. And I do need to find a home for this Army of Darkness poster. But everything else is clean and organized. Very happy. One other thing I noticed, and by the way, Mom, I know you watch my videos. My bed's clean and it's in the video. Are you happy now? Keep complaining that it's messy. I'm calling you out. Didn't expect that. Now, so one thing I noticed about my new laptop, and it's the only thing I don't like about this, because this thing is amazing. Let me tell you something. It took two days to get everything transferred and set up. I had to get Adobe transferred, I had to get Maya transferred, I had to get my camera software. That was annoying. That was actually a huge pain in the butt, but it's all set up, it's all hooked up. I really like how it's coming along. A lot of the other programs that I don't use daily, I just left on this computer right here because I don't need them. So I figured, hey, I'll just keep them there, won't junk up the new one. Very excited with everything about that. It's really cool. The one thing I don't like, believe it or not, it doesn't have a micro SD card, which is kind of a problem because this camera uses a micro SD card. Now I could transfer the files via the wire. However, the camera has to be on. So that eats up battery life. And I only have three batteries, which I use for filming. So that kind of sucks because that makes it more difficult to do the whole rotation thing. So I ordered a micro SD to USB-S converter, which will be coming in tomorrow, Monday, very excited. And that'll make it so I can transfer the files directly from the SD card in the camera to the laptop. Now the piece of loot that I want to talk about, and I do want to talk about in depth because I really did talk a lot about it in the previous vlogs. I picked up this. This is the Batman Beyond figure by McFarland Toys. Batman Beyond, arguably my favorite character, favorite Batman thing. Like, it, I love this show so much. And the comic is actually really good. Now, this is his comic look and not his actual 
cartoon look. I do have a figure on his cartoon look from the previous DC Universe line. So I think it was actually really smart that McFarlane went for the comic book look, even though in my opinion, it's not as good as the actual show look. And this figure is really good. Now, one thing is, I think they changed it from being a Build-A-Figure wave to being a single figure wave because that Build-A-Figure was garbage. It was the Joker, Cyborg, Batman thing from Futures and that garbage thing. So I think that got scrapped. Very happy about it. And I can't wait to pick up the rest of this line. Seriously, Batwoman, Shriek, and Blight are going to be amazing. So I can't wait to get those figures in hand. Now, I'm going to talk about this figure just really quick in detail because it's one thing that I was really excited about. And I think that toy companies need to take note. Like, I don't know how McFarlane's doing the license right now. I don't know how long they have it. But McFarlane Toys, you have made such a phenomenal figure and you've done a good job transferring this design into real life because this is a really difficult design to do. Both Batman Beyond and Nightwing, the problem with their designs bringing them into plastic form is this. You know, this works in a cartoon, but in a physical form, it doesn't really work that well. And I think McFarlane Toys came up with a really clever system. Most of the time, other toys will actually have two pegs for each wing. I like this one peg in the back because we don't rarely get to see what he looks like from behind with the wings, but it's the sense that it kind of creates this joint connection with them so they're not too foreign. They're kind of connected. I like the single hinge. I like how they swivel. Could have used a few more points because it's kind of like that weird soft ratchet. So it has like, like it's not going to swivel like this. It actually is going to click into different places, which, okay, that's a minor complaint. That's a nitpick, I freely admit, but just something that I would have liked a little more choice with the movement on the wings. I love how these also clip here. Now, some people would complain about the holes in there, but they're meant to be clipped with the arms. And most of the time, Batman Beyond does have his wings extended with the arms. He can detach them, but most of the time, 90% of the time, they're with the wings. So I'm okay with that because you're going to connect them. However, I personally would have preferred these little, I'm not sure, I know they have a name and forgive me for not knowing, but the blades on the arms, again, I know they have a specific name, but I just, I'm blanking on it right now. I would have preferred it so that they were facing down instead of up because that's more like the cartoon and more like the comic. Either way, minor nitpick, something that I would have liked if, if this whole thing swiveled so you can get that, but oh well. Actually, no, that wouldn't work because then the peg would be on the other side. So yeah, they just kind of did that a little different. I think it would have been better, but oh well. Either way, I like what they did. I think the wings are really nice. I don't know if they're removable. I have not actually watched a review of this because I wanted my opinions to be my own when I get it. And yeah, I don't think they're removable. I don't want to risk breaking this to find out. So that's the only thing is it was clear or maybe include some instructions saying that they were removable. Quick Google search will fix that. So I'm going to do that after this video. And then I love these boot accessories. Very nice, very clever too. They actually just use one peg and they rest against the other part. Like very clever design. Again, this sculpt is very nice. I love the giant bat symbol and it kind of makes me laugh because it actually pulls from the Alex Ross version of Batman who has a giant bat signal. And I think it's ironic because Alex Ross goes for a low tech Batman where he doesn't have a Batmobile, he has an unmarked car, he doesn't have a grapple gun, he has a rope. He does this low tech idea with Batman that I think would really work for a movie especially with all the different things we've seen with Batman. We, that would be a great way to differentiate a new Batman movie. So it's kind of interesting how Batman Beyond, a high tech version of Batman, kind of goes with that Alex Ross inspiration for the low tech Batman. I love the head sculpt, absolutely nice. And again, I do have a comic one, which is right here. Absolutely love that figure. I don't know if it's, if it's in frame because uh, I can't see the camera right now because I'm using my phone. Either way, absolutely love this one too. Such a great update and I love the articulation on the McFarlane figures. They do such a good job where you want to pose them. And that's the thing, I really want to pose this figure. Now the Batarang is really nice. Unfortunately, I would have preferred the original ones, but it is accurate to the source material because in the comic, he does use Batarangs like this, though he also uses the other ones. Either way, I think this is a great figure. Could have been improved in a few little areas, but overall, I really do like this figure. And I'm very happy I finally got the chance to pick it up. You know, I missed my pre-order, so I was really mad about that. But hey, being able to finally have this in my collection, I'm just super excited to get the rest of the figures. I really want a Robin Beyond now, but I can't wait to pick up Batman Beyond, Shriek, and Flight. Things going to be awesome. So just wanted to give a dedicated little talk about this because of how excited I am. Of course, Batman Beyond being one of my favorite cartoons of all time, one of my favorite Batman just properties of all time. You know, that was the Batman show that I grew up with because I caught the reruns of Batman the Main Series. That's the thing is that show came out. I was watching the reruns. I grew up with Batman Beyond. I grew up with Justice League, Justice League, like all those shows. That's when I got. I got static, like all those. But Batman the Main Series and Superman the Main Series, those were already doing reruns when I was watching cartoons. So I have vivid memories watching this show. I have the Batmobile from the, car the actual toy line. Like 
I love Batman Beyond, so I'm very excited that I finally have this dude in my collection. And it's such a great figure, so he's going to actually be chilling. I want to try and actually rearrange these so he's properly on the shelf, so I can have two Batman Beyond figures, but we'll see. I might have to actually put him on the secondary shelf, but yeah. Absolutely love this guy, and again, I just wanted to really talk about him in depth because I made such a big deal about him, and in hands, just as good as I thought he would be. So, my Fallen Toys has done such a good job, and if any other company gets the license to DC or whatever, if you're going to make a Bambi or anything or any figure like this, you know, take notes. My Fallen knows what they're doing. Just improve on some of the areas, and I think you would have a great figure that's even better than this. And again, from the front, it gets that comic book look, and I love it, and that's such a difficult thing to reproduce. So that's everything for today. Tomorrow is going to be hopefully be a film day. I just found out I'm going to be moving mulch, so uh, wish me luck. But yeah, I'm going to try and do at least three videos tomorrow. At least two, three at the most. I'm going to be happy if I hit three. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do what we do best and make it work.